Hi everyone, my name is Gabby. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an iPhone 11 unboxing. I had my old phone, I think it was like an iPhone 6s, and I had this for about four years. It was a gift from my friends for my birthday, and it's like I'm eternally grateful for this because it was really such a generous thing to do, and it's like this phone has served me really, really well over the past couple of years. Now it's kind of time to switch it up because it is getting like old and a little glitchy and stuff. And I'm just really grateful because I'm super blessed to be able to have something as nice as this. This is not like a bragging thing, it's just a nice reminder to me uh, throughout like the filming, editing, the whole process that I'm really blessed and I have lots to be grateful for. Let's open this up. She's still in the box. I did open up the plastic in the inside because I didn't know what this was. This actually came as like a surprise on Christmas. That part's torn but the actual like iPhone box, I haven't opened that up yet. I thought I'd do it with you guys so. Okay so here it is in the box. It is in a box. I don't know why I need to describe this. So let's open this up. There it is! Ta-da! Anyway, so here it is. I'm going to bring it down so that you can see as I like peel the plastic because I feel like it's a lot more satisfying when you can like actually see it. So here it is. Look at her. So let's peel it. You guys saw that right? It was so satisfying to peel it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It has like a hole there for the camera. Who knew? Because I surely didn't. I've never seen anyone show me that before. <laughs> okay, so here it is, right? I'm going to do screen protector first. So I just realized I didn't even take it out and hold it before. I was like, I'm gonna put a screen protector on. Look at it. She's so shiny. Oh my gosh. In the box, you have information stuff. I don't know, the boring stuff, I guess. They tell you where the buttons are. Wow. A little SIM card thing. Actually, I need that because I need to transfer my SIM card. And a little Apple sticker. I don't really know. What's with the Apple stickers? What am I supposed to use them for? I still never understand. Am I supposed to put them on things that aren't Apple so they look Apple? Is it like free advertising? Like, I don't really know what it is. And then we've got the USB-C to lightning cable charger. And there's no plug-in to the wall, so you don't have one, you gotta buy one. Anyway, that's all that's in the box. It's really skinny these days. It used to be so much thicker. I'm going to put on like the screen protector and the case now because I'm scared of smudging and breaking this. Yeah, but I don't know. It's a little bit backwards, but you know, I'm quirky like that, whatever. Oh. I just want to do it otherwise. I'm going to be like, oh no, I touched it. So I got a screen protector from Kmart just because I wasn't about to drop like 50 bucks on a screen protector so I just got one from Kmart. This was like 650 decent. I got this phone case from Cotton On. It was really cute. So it's not necessarily super protective. The one that I want from Case Fight is like this is real expensive. So I was like, um no, let's not break the bank. So I got this one. It was like $15. I know it's not the cheapest thing, but at least it wasn't like $65. I think screen protectors are probably the most uh, satisfying and daunting part because if you do it wrong, you have to do it again or just live with the bubble. And I can't live with the bubble. Like I, I really can't take it. I hate having any bubbles in the screen protector. <gasps> I got it. It says iPhone XR or 11 hardened glass screen protector. Protects against scratches and dust. Great, thanks. So we're gonna use the wipes first. Then you got the dry. Alright, it looks dry to me, I don't know. Now the blue sticker. This thing always confused me. I didn't know what it was for before, I used to just throw it out, so... <laughs> that was dumb of me. I know you expect me to stick it on the whole phone, aren't you? But no, it doesn't work that way because it's way too small. Okay, I used to leave dust in my thing, so I'm gonna use a flashlight. Okay, I think it's fine. So here's a screen protector. It comes in a nice little pouch to keep us safe and all that. All right, here we go.
I really hope I did it right. I just realized because the screen's been turned on, I can't tell. Have I doomed myself? Maybe, maybe a little bit. All right, well, last step to do, phone case. Look at it, it's so cute. Look at it, it's so cute. Okay, I think it's about time I turn it on because, you know, we've just been kidding her up. Yeah! I just realized I need to transfer my data and also put in the SIM card. Look, it's riding it. It's riding. Oh, that one said Niha. Yeah, that's right. I'm multilingual. So here it is. Now we select my language. Is this focused? I can't tell. English, Australia. She's setting up my language. That says hello. Quick start. Bring your current iPhone or iPad. Yeah, I should probably do that. So I didn't want to transfer everything from here to here, but I thought I should because otherwise I would have to transfer all my photos manually and that would sort of be the worst thing in the world. So I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to transfer it like this and then just delete everything after that and change the setup because I really don't like the setup on here. It was just like boring. Okay, so it does, oh look, you can see my face there. It does this thing, it does this thing so you can set it up and then you just like wave it over basically, you know? And then it transfers the stuff. Now it's doing it. So that it's gonna transfer everything, which is gonna take a while. So, cool. So it's like face ID and then it's just finishing up things. So let's set up face ID. Have a look. Okay, let, let me set this up. <laughs> That's it. That's literally it. What if I went like this? It would be like, I don't know who you are. Face ID is now set up. Terms and conditions, you gotta read those. Not like you can disagree. Um, it's been like half an hour There's 11 minutes left on this so it's not done yet, but it's almost done and at this point I'm like, what do I do because I just have to sit here and I like I can go on my phone But if I do like the my old phone if I got my phone, it'll just literally die Oh my god, wait, maybe I should plug it in. It's on 1% Okay, I need to plug it, but yeah, also I'm reading this 13 ways of looking. It's a school mandated thing So I'm not doing it for fun, but I thought I might as well do something kind of productive while I had to wait for my phone to transfer so So I wasn't freaking quick enough. It died So now I'm waiting for it to charge again. Something I forgot to do is I need to add in my SIM card. So let's do that. I have to take this out. And then you like put the SIM card. Because otherwise it'll be like, I don't know, SIM card installed. And you're like, it's so tiny. Let's put it into here. Otherwise I can't call anyone or receive calls. So this took a while. Basically what happened was like, at one point I was like, oh, my phone's dead yeah it died so it had to restart the whole transfer process so i just waited twice as long as i needed to okay it's it's fine now. also i just wanted to point out the screen difference is huge it's literally massive like not only is this bigger but the screen is so much larger because it doesn't it's not just like, like there are no bezels. I mean, there are bezels, but they're a lot smaller. It's finally all transferred. Everything is exactly the same as I left it. I just removed the wallpapers because I want to change those anyway. I'm going to like, first of all, find some pictures on Pinterest or like just go through my camera roll and just like pick up pictures that I want to use for like my background and stuff like that. And then also I'm going to be adding like widgets and stuff like that.
been doing this for such a long time I'm going to cry but I didn't do like I didn't make the individual icons different I couldn't be bothered to do it and also I feel like I don't really like the way it looks because it reminds me of when I used to do that to my like old phone when I was younger so I personally don't like it I'll show you what, what I've been up to so this is my home screen when you turn on the phone and then when you open it you can see like the first page is basically everything I would reach for on the f like if I ever needed it I've got like general stuff so like settings, my calculator you know, clock notes, whatever and then I have YouTube, calendar, Spotify and then I have like Spotify again but this is like my most recent playlist and then I have like Google Classroom because you know the grind never stops and then I have like photo stuff it's just like different things I don't really edit photos, that's not my specialty but like I have like Fuji and stuff like that and it takes like film like pictures even though I have a film camera Right, and then I have like the Bible app, Notion, which is like a planner thing. It's like you can plan a bunch of different stuff on it. And I use it for like, you know, school and YouTube and just organizing my life because it's such a mess. And then next page, I have like a widget smith. It's just like a picture of my sister and I. And then I have like a couple of just general apps that I use like to live. Um, and then I have like school stuff in here you know a lot of like a lot of things that i don't really like to look at when i first open my phone but they're like productivity type things so i have like lots of school things like echo and student edge and then i have like google maps and i don't know why that's one that one's in there but yeah so then i have like quizlet and stuff like that and reminders i love using quizlet it's like one of my favorite things to study with anyway then we have like extra stuff and i have like gmail you guys know what gmail is like it's just mail um, and then I have like trip view and my bank and then I have like notion it's a little like widget thingy um, so I can go straight into this page because I like this page and I use it every single day then I have like the fun page um, like for relaxing and stuff I have all like my socials and stuff some of them are offloaded because I was like I don't really use them and I don't want to use them so I offloaded them but I didn't want to have to like log into accounts again so I have like Facebook, Snapchat, Pinterest, Messenger oh a second every day that thing I still have that and I still use it and then I have TikTok which I've also offloaded because I'm not really obsessed with TikTok I don't know what's so good about TikTok that people are like I don't get it I'm a Reels user because I couldn't be bothered Anyway, then we have games, so a lot of these are offloaded, actually all of them are, more because I don't play them anymore, but now that I have more storage, I could download them again. <laughs> and then I have like my guitar stuff, when I used to play guitar, um, so I basically pick up guitar every like couple of months when I cut my nails, so yeah. And then I have like my shop stuff, which is like Amazon, eBay, and your style, and then I have a bunch of other things in my app library like a bunch of other shopping apps but I don't want them because I don't want to be like oh let's go on this thing and like buy this and then I have like a little widget smith like me and my friends and then I have like facetime, whatsapp, um, minecraft and chat time because I like to drink tea and that gives me a discount so that's basically it that is what I do on my phone that's how I set it up because I was like you know what I want to go for something that's like simple but I like the way it's laid out so I can use it every single day and I'll be happy with it so I'm pretty pleased with that also the background photo is a photo I took when I was like doing that video it's like leaving like Kendall Jenner for a day and I got a nice picture and I was like actually this is kind of nice I should use it so yeah that's basically it I didn't do anything spectacular to this phone I just got it obviously I mean you saw me take it out of the box like so yeah that's basically how I did it I didn't really use my phone a whole lot before I'm a very hard to reach person sometimes but now maybe not so much because this phone is so much nicer than my other one so thank you guys for watching I hope that you enjoyed um, if I changed the phone layout if I changed the phone setup and you know I think it's particularly cool I will do an, like a updated phone tour but I highly doubt that so thank you guys for watching I hope that you enjoyed thanks for coming along with me and um, watching all this happen thanks for being here Love you lots. Subscribe to the Hot People Club and definitely make sure that you check the community tab and participate in our polls and the fun things that I post because I'm I make I post fun things for you. It's not a lie. So I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you in another one. Bye!